ओम ज्ञान तिमीरांधस्यानाजनशलाकया चक्षुरुन्मीता तस्म श्रीगुरव नम मुख कौति वाचा पंगु लंघा गिरी यम वंदे श्रीगुरूदीनतारिणी परमानंदमाधव श्रीचैतन्यश्वर नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नितिनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशतारिणे नमो महाविदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रधायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्याम्ने गौरक्षे नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वक भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाच कल्पतृभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण वंस अगेन वेलकम एवरी वन सो भक्ति आई नो वी आर ऑल इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ भक्ति वट डज भक्ति रियली मीन एनी बड़ी आई एम गोन टू कीप इट लिल मोड एज अ डिस्कशन फॉर्मेट हेयर टूडे नॉट एज अ लेक्चर सो वट डज भक्ति रियली मीन Yes, anybody? Praveen Prabhu. Bhakti, uh, Prabhu ji is like uh, devotion. Uh, devote yourself uh, in a right path, remembering Krishna all the time, doing uh, everything, whatever uh, pleases Krishna. Krishna. Hmm. Good. So, doing the things which pleases Krishna. Yes, that is bhakti. so generally yes people will say bhakti means devotion right but shri prabhupad translated bhakti not just as devotion but devotional service okay our purpose is what is our ultimate goal right when we are doing bhakti what is our ultimate goal to please krishna okay to please krishna to develop love for krishna Correct. Right. That is the ultimate goal to develop love for Krishna. Some people may come to the process of bhakti, or they do some other religious activities. Their goal is either material benefit or some peace. But our goal of bhakti is not to gain something of this material world, not to gain just some peace, but to develop love for Krishna. That is the goal. and why why do we go to temple so i'm just going to have a keep going on as a series of questions why do we go to temple to get uh, association of other devotees okay just and uh, temple or uh, the uh, again the god is there to get uh, direct darshan of god okay to get darshan of krishna to get association yeah. of devotees okay so shil prabhupad says 
we are not going to temple to see Krishna. Okay, we are going to temple with the attitude to do service. Our attitude should be to do service in such a way that Krishna will want to see us. So, bhakti doesn't mean that okay, we want to see Krishna. Bhakti means we want to serve Krishna in such a way that Krishna want to see us. Right? Krishna is anxious to see us. So, when we go to temple, our attitude, our mood should be yes, associate, association with devotees to develop that bhava, that mood to come and engage in service of Krishna, to please Krishna, to serve the devotees, to serve the Lord. So, that is the purpose of going to temple. Now, why we should do bhakti? We, first we said, okay, bhakti, what is bhakti? Bhakti means engaging in devotional service. But why we should do bhakti? To serve Krishna eternally, to go back home, back to Godhead. Okay, good. To serve Krishna eternally. So ultimately we want to serve Krishna eternally. Right, our goal of doing engaging in bhakti should be that, okay, I want to get out of this material world, go to Krishna. So there I can serve Krishna eternally. Okay, that is the complete answer to serve Krishna eternally. Right, our goal is not that, okay, I go back to Krishna, I go to the spiritual world and then there I enjoy. <laughs> then, then I am happy to enjoy there, I am free to enjoy there. There also it is service. Right, so I serve Krishna eternally. Now, in this material world, everybody is suffering. Is that right? Yes. Yes, Prabhu. Everybody is confident about that, is convinced about that, that yes, in this material world, everybody is suffering. No, Praveen Prabhu is thinking. Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely, everybody is suffering. Okay, okay. so... And Every day is different. Some some days not. Some days it's very situational. Okay. But overall, yeah. Overall, yes, definitely. So some days we are enjoying also, but some days we are suffering. But overall, there is more suffering, right? So there is little this much enjoyment and this much suffering, <laughs> right? And then this much enjoyment and then this much suffering. So in this material world, everybody is suffering. But what is the definition of suffering? Because everybody may have their different definition of suffering. What is what is the basic definition of suffering? Mm. Not uh, undergoing pain or something. Okay, undergoing pain. Misery. Misery. And things don't go the our way the way we want, okay. and we feel but suffering. Things when misery. the things do not go our way the way we want them, we want it. Okay. okay. Less. Less. So, in plain definition, suffering means to get what you don't want and to not get what you want. Okay? So, that is suffering. So, just remember this plain definition. To get what you not want and to not get what you want, that is suffering. Now, do you want to get old? No. no. Do you want to get diseased? No. 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 But we still get it. Everybody gets it, right? Everybody will go old. Nobody can say, no, 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 I'm not going, going to grow old. I'm not going, never going to get disease. No matter how much healthy you eat, you become fanatic about that. Still, people get disease. Like now, example of um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson became so crazy, so fanatic. He had appointed dozen of doctors at his disposal and taking care of everything, putting masks and um, this, that, doing all sort of things. Still, what happened? Ultimately, he got diseased and died. So, no matter how much we do, but ultimately, these things are unavoidable. Okay, so suffering is to get what you don't want, what you don't want, and to not get what you want. Like a child wants something, and when the child does not get that, child is crying, okay, throwing his hands and legs over the floor. So that is suffering. Now all of us are going to grow old. At one point of time we were little child. I right? remember the days in our childhood days when we were playing in the street, gully cricket. <laughs> ok, 
ओके सो यू हिट द बॉल एंड द बॉल गोज टू सम नेबर्स होम एंड यू गो एंड नॉक ऑन द डोर अंकल प्लीज गिव माई बॉल माई बॉल केम हेयर कैन आई गेट माई बॉल नाउ यू गो एंड समबड़ी इज प्लेइंग ऑन द स्ट्रीट एंड दे कम टू यू अंकल कैन यू प्लीज गिव अस अवर बॉल राइट so you think as there was some point of time when i was calling others uncle now people are coming and calling me uncle so how did that happen when did that happen why did that happen so no matter what everybody is going to grow old and in this material life there is suffering there is no doubt about that sooner or later everybody come to that point so come to that conclusion that yes there is suffering in this material world and why there is suffering basically we have lost our eternal relation with krishna and we have separated ourselves from krishna and we are suffering here in this material world in separation from our eternal father right that is the root cause of suffering so if if somebody ask you what is the root cause of suffering for example i will go back a little one step back and see if you are shivering okay so you are feeling shivering and you go to the doctor doctor i am feeling shivering and the doctor tells you okay take a blanket so you are shivering you take a blanket it will help you so is that the right diagnosis or the right cure for that no so yes taking blanket will help you in shivering but that's not going to cure you from that so what is the root cause of uh, shivering maybe the person is having fever okay maybe he is having typhoid so the doctor need to find the root cause and cure for the root cause but that is at the bodily level here at the external level if you go one more step deeper what is the root cause of suffering expectation expecting a body expectation okay See, root cause of suffering. Yes, those are all external things. Root cause of suffering is because we had expectation from other, and that expectation did not meet, so we are suffering. So these are all external reasons. Somebody is getting disease. Yes, that is external source of our suffering. But why did somebody get disease? Why somebody is born poor? Why somebody is born disease? Why somebody is born ugly? Karma. What is the root cause? Do you go one more karma. step back? Then, then karma. Okay, so. you keep going keep keep peeling the layers of the onion so you go deeper and deeper okay what is the real root cause root cause is okay then that is maybe some previous karma right i had done something wrong because of that this thing happened because of previous karma maybe somebody is born with disease somebody is born in a poor family somebody is born with some life situations so ultimately it's our own some previous karma and we are further building more karma based on our current actions also if we do currently something wrong so the root cause is our own some previous actions because we have been performing some actions for our own enjoyment by forgetting krishna so the root cause of suffering is our forgetfulness of krishna right and in that way because we have separated our, separated ourselves from krishna and we are suffering now just just another example uh, olden times if you have seen any movies in the movie sometimes they show that uh, the the hero he met with an accident and after he met with the accident he lost his memory okay and now because he lost his memory he just went to some other village he kind of uh, fell into the river and drowned kind of uh, flown to uh, some other remote part of the country and there he is now living there as some poor person and finally the father finds out where my son is and he goes and bring the son back but the son is not able to recognize oh this is my father and this is my home so he has lost all his memory so what does the father do he will take the son to a doctor oh my son has lost his memory and the doctor will suggest that oh you take your son to those places which can trigger some previous memory okay which can help him to remember some of his previous things right you take him to some hill station you show him some his of childhood things some other things which were dear to him so that will trigger some memory if all those things also do not work then what is the second method 
then what what the doctor does is the second treatment okay electric shock shock treatment right so same way right now we are also in forgetfulness state we have come in this material world we have forgot our eternal home we have forgot our eternal father and now we are just living like this as a poor child who has separated from his father and krishna our eternal father he sends his representatives he makes so many arrangement to revive our memory how through the scriptures so in the scriptures there is so much description of the spiritual world so many of these things are there to remind us of our eternal home to give us our memory krishna says okay come to temple when you go to temple you see radha krishna standing there you associate with devotees you hear about krishna to reinstate our memory so so many things are there to remind us of our eternal reality our real identity our eternal home our eternal father and after that also or if somebody is not remembering krishna if somebody is not able to remember krishna still does not come to that state then what happens then krishna gives shock treatment okay through the agency of this material nature through the agency of maya then krishna gives shock treatment all these sufferings so that all these sufferings are shock treatments a person realizes oh there is so much pain maybe this is not my real home i need to find my real father or the place where there is no suffering so in this material world there is suffering and we have because we have forgotten krishna as our real father we are suffering here in this material world and krishna sends his representatives also in this world to reclaim us how many of you have heard the story of narada muni and kailash yeah this story comes in the puranas i think it's in narad puran there is a story nobody has heard that story narada and kailash okay so once narad muni is visiting he is a traveling preacher right many people misunderstand narada narada is portrayed in a very negative way in of the the movies and serials and all but narada muni he is a mahabhagavat okay he is a such a dear devotee of krishna and he is traveling everywhere to sing about krishna to preach about krishna to connect the fallen souls back to krishna so narad muni once he was visiting on this earth and he came and went to this person named kailash this kailash that time is a small boy okay he is let's say 8 10 years old boy and this kailash narad muni comes to the kailash and tells kailash my dear boy why don't you chant krishna's name you do some bhakti and you can come back with me to go back to krishna and this child says sadhu baba i am very busy right now i am playing i need to go play cricket in the street okay i am very busy i don't have time to chant and i don't have time to read this so you come back later after few years maybe that time i will be ready to hear you and narad muni said okay narad muni went back after few years now this boy has grown up he is a, a young boy now and narad muni comes approaches kailash kailash so you remember me i came few years back you told me to come back after some time so now are you ready to listen are you ready to sit down and chant and this boy this kailash says hey, narad muni this is not the right time i just got a girlfriend now i'm just going about to go on a date Okay. so please forgive me and <laughs> you come back after few years then maybe i will listen to you okay and narad muni again goes back comes after some years now this kailash has married okay. he is living with his wife he has couple of small children and narad muni says now are you ready now let's sit down and do hari katha chant the holy name and you can come back with me to krishna and this kailash says narad muni no not the right time see i have small children i need to take care of children i need to run my business maintain my family i don't have time to hear about krishna i don't have time for satsang you please come back after few years okay so narad muni again goes back comes back after few years and by that time this kailash has grown older his 
children have grown up the children are also getting married and this kalash has got some grandchildren also and narad muni says kalash now are you ready now you are done with all your responsibilities now you come back and uh, kalash says no my grandchildren are so small and my children they are so still stupid people they don't know how to take care of the business they don't know how to maintain the family so i still need to be here to teach them to take care of them and narad muni again went back after a few years narad muni came and is trying to find kalash kalash is nowhere to be found kalash died and as narad muni is about to turn back to go away one dog comes there okay barking po 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 narad muni i am kalash so kalash became dog in the next life okay i am same kalash so narad muni says see what happened to you you did not listen to me at least now now also hear about krishna chant the name of krishna even in the dog form you can do that and you can come back narad muni no i don't have time i still have need to protect this house my children they are so careless some thieves will come they will rob everything they don't know how to take care of the house so i am here to protect the house i am guarding this house narad muni was beating his head such a attachment of this person he is still not re- ready to let go and narad muni again went back few years later narad muni again passed by from there now this dog also not to be found anywhere this dog also died and narad muni is turning back to go away and one snake came there kalas so this kalash became a snake now okay and narad muni said, what happened to you earlier you were a human you went to dog you became a snake now and this snake is saying kalash in the form of snake he is saying see the farms my sons they are not taking care of the farm properly so many rats come and they eat up they destroy the crop i am kind of chasing away those rats i am eating away those rats to protect my farm so still now he is attached so i am taking narad muni said this is too much now i have to do something narad muni went inside the house okay kalash's house where his children grandchildren are staying he said outside your house there is a very deadly snake he will harm your children you need to take care of that and the same children with whom this person is so attached they came with the sticks and all they started beating this snake and killed him okay so what is this story telling that we are all like this kalash we are been told so many times take to this process seriously chant the holy name of krishna hear about krishna this is not our eternal this is not our real home we need to go back to our eternal home but we are always busy thinking oh i need to take care of this i need to take care of that i have so many responsibilities i am too busy ki shankracharya shankracharya actually composed a very beautiful verse 2000 years back shankracharya composed this shankracharya says balastavat krida sakta तरुणस्तावत तरुणी सक्ता वृद्धास्तावत चिंता सक्ता परे ब्रह्मणी का न सक्ता वट इज दिस वर्ड सेंग वालावत क्रीडा सक्ता अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड ही इज अटैच टू प्लेइंग के एज अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड इज अटैच टू सो मेनी ऑफ प्लेइंग थिंग्स वो आई एम टू बिजी इन प्लेइंग सो चिल्ड्रन आर बिजी इन प्लेइंग वेन दे ग्रो ओल्ड यंग बॉय ही इज अटैच टू अ यंग वुमन तरुण आ सकता तरुण स्तावत तरुणी आ सकता सो एज अ यंग मैन ही इज अटैच टू अनदर वुमन एंड देन वेन द पर्सन ग्रो ओल्ड वृद्धा स्तावत चिंता आ सकता देन द ओल्ड पर्सन इज सो मच कंसर्न अबाउट एंगजाइटी टेंशन सो मेनी टेंशन आर देयर नो दीज डेज टेंशन इज नॉट ओनली टू द ग्रोन अप पीपल ओल्डर पीपल दीज डेज टेंशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड ओनली right even a small child may be filled with anxiety filled with tension i'm i'm too stressed out is <laughs> so much stress so much stress of competition so much stress of study so much stress of this that peer pressure so from childhood itself people start becoming stressed out so shankaracharya is saying that everybody is busy with something but nobody is concerned about the supreme brahman the supreme lord Okay, who is providing for everything for us? Who is taking care of us, even though we have forgotten Krishna? If we do not remember Krishna now at this time, what is the 
guarantee that we will be able to remember Krishna at the time of death, then what is, how is it going to be possible for us to remember Krishna at the time of death? Right? In Bhagavad Gita, when we were doing chapter 8 of Bhagavad Gita, in that we talked about one verse which says, Yam yam vapi smaran bhavam tyajate ante kale varam tam tam eveti konteya sada tad bhav bhavita. Whatever you remember at the time of death, that state one will attain for sure. Okay, and Krishna says, if you remember me at the time of death, then you will attain me. So if we want to attain Krishna, we have to remember Krishna and for that we have to practice remembering Krishna. Otherwise, what will we remember? Whatever we have done throughout our life, that's what will come in front of our eyes. Once some devotees, they went to see a person who happens to be some relative father of their devotee person, some other devotee. So they went to meet this person in the hospital, even though he himself is not a devotee, but because he is connected, he is as a relative of some devotee. So they went to see him during his final times and they are doing Kirtan there, doing the chanting and this person, when he is about to leave his body, okay, he started doing, throwing his hands, he started doing this, 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 he started doing this. Okay, and after doing that for some time, then he just left his body. And his devotees were puzzled at what he was trying to tell, what was he doing? And uh, the person, the relative of that person who passed away, he told that uh, this person, he had from his childhood, he was working on this cloth shop. He had, he was owning this cloth shop. So all his life he was measuring the cloth. Okay, so he was measuring the cloth. Okay, this is one meter, two meter. So because somebody, whatever you are doing throughout your life, that is what is one is remembering. Even though these devotees were doing chanting and kirtan and all, he was completely nothing going inside him. He is thinking of all his business, measuring cloth and all. That's what he was remembering at the time of death. So whatever somebody remembers at the time of death, that's what state one will attain. Somebody may become a rat in that cloth shop and then chew on those clothes. Okay, another story, once one person, he was thinking that, oh, my father is now grown old. I should take the responsibility of the business and my father should go on some Tirthyatra. I should arrange for him to go on Tirthyatra. And his father was very reluctant. He was too attached to his business and home and family, everything. And he was not ready to go. Somehow his sons, he made arrangement. He told some of their known uh, devotees, sadhus, that, oh, you guys are going on Yatra. Please take my father, our father also. Show him some holy places. So the sadhus, they agreed that, okay, we'll take him. We'll show him various holy places. So... Reluctantly, this person, he went with the sadhus. Okay, so somehow the children by force can send him to Tirthi Yatra. Now this person, so the sadhus, they took him to various holy places. Okay, to Haridwar and Rishikesh and Vrindavan and finally they came to Kashi, Varanasi. And in Varanasi, they took him in front of close to that ghat, there is a Manikarnika ghat. Manikarnika ghat is a very famous ghat where as a cremation ground, okay, where they burn the dead bodies in Kashi. So they took him to this Manikarnika ghat. Next to the ghat, there is this cremation ground. And this person, he is sitting there, this old fellow, and he saw one body being burnt as a dead body, a shav. Somebody, Shavyatra came there and they were burning this dead body and this person was sitting there and he started crying. And the sadhus thought, oh, maybe finally this person has a change of heart. Okay, maybe, maybe he developed some vairagya, some renunciation. And they asked, so what are you feeling? What happened? This person said, oh, I wasted all my life. Sadhus so thought, finally he understood. Oh, I wasted all my life. Why? Unnecessarily, I was doing this cloth business. I should have done the wood business. So, so many dead bodies are brought here and they burned. I could have made more money. So this person is still in that consciousness. How to make money? So, these attachments to this material world, we should not think these will go automatically as we grow older. 
ओके दीज डिजायर्स विल गो ऑटोमेटिकली वेन वी ग्रो ओल्डर द अटैचमेंट्स विल गो अवे ऑटोमेटिकली एज वी ग्रो ओल्डर नो दीज डिजायर्स दीज अटैचमेंट्स दे डू नॉट लीव द पर्सन पर्सन विल लीव द बॉडी बट द डिजायर्स विल नॉट लीव द डिजायर्स विल कंटिन्यू विद हिम ओके शंकराचार्य हैज अनदर वेरी फेमस वर्स वेर इज सेज अंगम गलित पलित मुंडम दशन विहीन जातम तुंडम वृद्धो जाति घृत्वा दंडम तद्यपि न मुच्यति आशा पिंडम दिस वर्स वी हैव कोटेड सो मेनी टाइम सो शंकराचार्य आदिशंकराचार्य ही सेइंग दैट पर्सन हैज ग्रोन सो ओल्ड बट द डिजायर्स डू नॉट लीव द पर्सन अंगम गलित द बॉडी लिम्स हैव पेल्ड अवे दे हैव the person has grown old palitam mundam his hairs have fallen hairs have turned gray or fallen angam galitam palitam mundam dashana vahinam the mouth is without teeth now vriddho jati ghritva dandam he is walking with the help of a stick tadyapi na muchyati asha pindam still these desires do not leave the person so we should not think oh right now i am young and i have so many desires let me fulfill these desires and as i grow old once my desires are satisfied then i will be able to engage in bhakti that, that does not happen the desires do not go away there are so many stories you can see we can look at our parents grandparents did they give up desires as they grow old at the old age no desires do not go away more or it may grow even more <laughs> the desires they continue because at that age when they are not able to do what they want so these desires trouble even more because they are not able to do what they want to do so we need to take to this process of bhakti seriously understanding this is such a rare gift we have got okay if we came in the association of devotees and we have understood this process of bhakti we should take it seriously how do we get bhakti how do we get bhakti can we get bhakti on our own endeavor that oh i was very pious person i was very fortunate that's why i got bhakti how do we get bhakti ro devotees Through mercy devo- of devotees. Very good. Through the mercy of devotees, that is the only way to get bhakti. Stam kripa. Yeah, with the mercy of devotees, we get bhakti. One should not think that oh, I have got bhakti because maybe I was something very special. I have done some pious sukriti. Yes, we may have done sukriti. That is the reason we came in association of devotees. W- one cannot get bhakti because of your sukriti. piety pious activity you can get money you can get good health good family all that but not bhakti bhakti does not come because of our sukriti bhakti comes because of the mercy of devotees only bhakti give birth to bhakti okay so the devotees who have bhakti in their heart they can give bhakti to others so satam kripa so in the scriptures it says गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद पाय भक्ति लता बीज कि ब्रह्म कौन ब्रह्मांड भ्रमिते कौनो भाग्यवान जीव गुरु कृष्ण प्रसाद पाय भक्ति लता बीज वाइल वॉन्ड्रिंग इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड सम फॉर्चुनेट सोल बिकॉज ऑफ द मर्सी ऑफ गुरु एंड कृष्णा दे गेट दिस भक्ति लता बीज कि दे गेट द सीड ऑफ डिवोशन बिकॉज दे द डिवोट इज दे प्लान द सीड ऑफ डिवोशन इन अवर हार्ट एंड देन दे नर्चर दैट seed of bhakti through hari katha through the chanting kirtan and then when we nurture that when we water that seed then that seed grows so we can get bhakti only with the mercy of devotees okay and i heard a very nice story um giriraj maharaj how he became a devotee how he came in krishna consciousness so once shila prabhupad So Shri Prabhupad visited in Boston, MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Giriraj, at that time uh, he was studying in the uh, in that institute and he was staying in the dorm. So Prabhupad he came, his lecture was organized in MIT. 
so so many boys and girls they were sitting listening to Prabhupada's talk and at the end Prabhupada asked if anybody has any question so Giriraj Maharaj that time that young boy he stood up and he asked the question so is it really important to find a bona fide guru and how to recognize a bona fide guru and Prabhupada looked at him and with finger raised like this it depends what do you want do you want to serve God or you want to become God okay. Prabhupada answered like that when he asked how is it really important to find a bona fide guru and how one finds a bona fide guru and when Prabhupada answered like this he said a kind of electric shock as if run through his spine because he understood that this person is not some ordinary sadhu. He, he was he is able to look through me and he has understood what is my mentality. Because at that time, he had a poster in his room with some um, Buddha sadhu and with finger like this and pointing out, you are God. Okay. So he had that poster in his room and he thought when Prabhupada answered like this, so Prabhupada is able to see through me that what is the consciousness so after that Prabhupada went and three years later Prabhupada visited that institute again okay in three years what happened this boy now he came in the association of devotees and he became a devotee he <clears throat> joined temple he joined ashram he became a full-time devotee now Giri Rajdas Brahmachari Okay, so Srila Prabhupada came after three years and uh, his lecture was again organized and after the lecture Prabhupada again asked anybody has any question. So now this Giriraj, this Brahmachari, he again stood up and asked a question and Prabhupada looking at this boy and he said, I remember you. Okay. Three years back when I came you all asked that question. You had asked a question that time. And after I went from here actually I prayed to Krishna sincerely. Krishna, this is such a nice boy. Please take care of him. Please help him. Because I prayed for you, now, see, you have become a, such a nice devotee. And Giridas as Brahmachari, he understood. It's not that I have become devotee because of my own endeavor, that I did something. Because Prabhupada prayed for me. He prayed to Krishna for me. Because of Prabhupada's prayer, Satam Kripa, I have become a devotee. So, two very beautiful messages from here. One is Satam Kripa, the mercy of the devotees which gives us bhakti and second is power of prayers. If praying for somebody. If we pray to Krishna, Krishna, please, please help Praveen Prabhu. Please help Pridhanya Mataji. Krishna, please take care of Vina Mataji. So, praying for others to Krishna by taking their name if we selflessly just pray to Krishna for others, that has more power rather than praying for ourselves. Okay, oh Krishna, please do this for me. Krishna, please do that for me. So that is power of prayers. And the point which I was trying to convey is, we get bhakti by the mercy of devotees. Not by our own endeavors. Yes, we may have done some sukriti earlier, some bhakti sukriti. Maybe we have helped the devotees in some way. So that is how we came in association of devotees. But we should remember, Guru Krishna Prasad Paya Bhakti Lata Bish. Bhakti can be only because of the mercy of devotees. Now once we have got bhakti, then what should we do? What is our responsibility? What is our duty? Now that we have come in process of bhakti, we have come in association of devotees, what are we supposed to do? Practice and spread. Practice. And spread. And, and spread and it. Spread okay. Krishna. Practice and spread it. Yes. So we should ourselves practice that and we should try to spread it to others, distribute to others also. So the point here is yes, we practice for ourselves and we are supposed to serve Krishna and we are supposed to serve the Guru. Okay. We are supposed to serve the Guru, serve the devotees through whose mercy we came in the process of bhakti or we are able to maintain ourselves in the process of bhakti. So serving Krishna and serving the Guru, serving the devotees. 
and that is also the attitude of gratitude okay so the devotees who have brought us in bhakti who have kept us in bhakti so we should have utmost gratitude for those devotees and we should ask ourselves what am i doing for krishna what am i doing for my guru okay what am i doing for the devotees who have helped me in the process of bhakti so what am i doing for them so that is the attitude of gratitude the the past time of um, krishna delivering nal kuvera okay so nal kuvera because they were cursed by narad muni they became trees and that was the most special mercy of narada that because these nal kuvera even though uh, nal kuvera and mani grieve they are the sons of kuvera they were associates close associates of lord shiva they were staying in kalash but they were too attached to their material designation their beautiful body and their opulences and all and they were enjoying while living in kalash they were just enjoying sense gratification associating with the beautiful woman there drinking and enjoying so, so narad muni cursed them that you are misusing your this position here i curse you to become trees but become trees where krishna is going to appear krishna is going to take birth and krishna is going to deliver you from that tree form so nalkuvera and mani grieve they became this yamala arjuna trees in the courtyard of nand maharaj and when krishna is bound by mother yashoda that damodar leela so we have heard about this story so many time so when krishna was bound by mother yashoda to this grinding mortar and krishna at that time he saw these two arjuna trees can and krishna remembered oh my devotee narad muni he had given them this benediction and narad muni told when krishna will come krishna will deliver you now because narad muni is such a elevated bhagavata such a elevated devotee i want to fulfill the words of my devotee okay so i want to deliver them now so krishna he dragged this grinding mortar between the two trees and with a stroke he plucked those two trees uprooted those two trees now as these two shining personalities came out nalkuver and mani grieve so they circumlated krishna they glorified krishna praised krishna but what did they ask what did they ask krishna they did they ask oh krishna now we were trees you have delivered us now please grant us to go back to your spiritual world so we will be liberated now so they asked now please give us permission to go back go back in the service of narad muni please grant us that we can go back and now serve in the mission of our guru <laughs> okay so we want to go and serve in the mission of our guru in the mission of narad muni we want to serve narad muni we want to glorify him we want to help him in spreading his preaching mission so when we come in the process of bhakti we should practice for ourselves yes and we should ask ourselves what am i doing for krishna what am i doing for my guru am i serving them in any ways and along with that we should be very careful to not commit any vaishnava aparad satam ninda okay because we started with stam kripa and we should not end up with satam ninda because satam ninda the criticism of devotees offenses towards the devotees that will destroy our bhakti chaitanya mahaprabhu calls satam ninda the offenses towards the vaishnava criticism for the vaishnavas as a mad elephant offense which will uproot our bhakti creeper so we should be very careful in chaitanya charitamrita there are so many instances so many past time which talk about somebody has offended a devotee of the lord and they completely destroyed their life because of their offense towards the devotees somewhere somebody got leprosy somebody got some other problem because of criticism to the devotees so we should be very careful not to offend the devotees so how do we get bhakti because of satam kripa because of the mercy of devotees when we are in the process of bhakti we should practice it seriously 
for our self and spread it to others serve krishna and serve gurus help them in their mission and then avoid be very careful to not commit any offenses towards the devotees and when we are in the process of bhakti how do we maintain our enthusiasm right sometimes we are always looking for source of inspiration okay uh, inspiration to continue in bhakti to grow in bhakti we are always looking for inspiration now how long can you keep looking for inspiration outside we have been in the process for 5 years 10 years 15 years 20 years are you still continue to look for the source of inspiration outside or now we should come to that level of maturity that i am self inspired right we should be able to self sustain ourselves that oh this is i understand the importance of bhakti i now i nobody else have to inspire me i take it as my own responsibility my own commitment to engage in bhakti practice it with utmost sincerity not that when somebody will ask me when somebody will tell me then i will do it so we should come to that stage where we are inspired internally by not by external efforts external force but it is coming from inside otherwise somebody can keep giving us pep talks somebody can keep giving us inspirational talks motivational talk what is the use we have to act on that and so many motivational speaker may come and they may give motivational talk but if the person is not doing anything after listening to this motivational talk after listening to the talk one say prabhu ji such a nice talk very inspiring but then you don't do anything then what is the use of that isn't it so when we hear any motivational talk after that we have to act on that otherwise there is no use there is no shortcut to our own endeavor we cannot take any shortcuts so we have to come to a stage where we are inspired from within we have to grow that deeper see you may have a tree outside in your lawn a big tree and then there is a small plant which you just planted okay whom you need to take care more the big tree or the small plant small plant why plant so do i have to water the small plant daily or i have to water the big tree daily small plant why what is the reason because it's fragile yeah because the small plant is fragile it cannot sustain itself the small plant the roots have not grown deeper enough that it can take the nutrients by itself from the ground whereas the big tree now the roots has grown so deeper that it has gone to the source of water and source of nutrient it can suck out those nutrients by itself right so i don't have to water that big tree but i have to take care of that small plant supply the nutrients the water and everything externally to that small plant so it can survive it can grow but slowly as the plant grows deeper and deeper the roots grow deeper now it doesn't have to depend on water from external every day few days if you don't give water it can still survive the trees there are so many trees all over right? who is giving water to them on every day basis because they have grown their, their root system so deeper they can take the food from by themselves so same way we need to become like that big tree we need to develop our root system so deeper that we are not dependent on this external inspiration every day we need to understand this is my own responsibility i need to grow deeper not that okay today nobody called me prabhu ji are you doing chanting prabhu ji are you coming to the bhakti riksha program today prabhu ji are you going to come to temple today then only i will do it i need inspiration somebody need to inspire me daily no we need to come to that stage where we ourselves take the responsibility only then we come to that stage where we start to grow in bhakti when we take responsibility when we take that commitment 
Okay, so taking responsibility for our own lives. You are the pilot of your own life. You have to fly your own plane. So we need to take that responsibility. We need to take that commitment with enthusiasm, determination. We move forward in this process of bhakti, understanding this is the most important activity. Otherwise, we are all suffering in this material world and the suffering really is to not get what you want and to get what you don't want. Right? That is suffering. So everybody is suffering in this world. And to become free from that suffering, the only shelter is coming to the source of bliss. And that source of bliss is Krishna. When we connect ourselves with the source of bliss, then we also become blissful. So Prabhupada says, chant and be happy. So chant and also stay happy that I have come to the best process, best path here, which is going to give me the fulfillment of life. Okay. So I thought we'll have a small discussion today. What, why, why, what, why, how, when of this bhakti. <laughs> so thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Ananta Koti Vashna Vrinda Ki Jai. Anybody has any question? We can take one or two questions if somebody has. Prabhuji, just a thought actually, and we can take this in the next session also if required. Uh, from the story, uh, Narad Muni and uh, Kailash, so it started, uh, Kailash was a boy, human body, and then dog, then snake, and then it kept going down to lower body. And uh, so does it mean when Krishna would have started universe and this life, it always started with the human body first? Because... The reason I'm asking because when it would have first started, the beginning, the first the beginning, the, that time there were no karmas. Everybody was equal. Mm -hmm. okay? So human body is, we normally say that is the most superior body we have. We are fortunate to get this body. Mm -hmm. okay? So we all started as a human body. At that time, just to maintain uh, the life cycle, Krishna would have also made uh, other animals and all just to right. So how it all started. All different species started. It's not that everybody came as human being only because there was everything. For hum humans to survive, there are other species also. That's the question, yeah. Right? Exactly. So we all came in different species, not really as human beings. Uh, not based on karma, but based on desire. Desire to enjoy in a particular way. Okay, If somebody has a desire to enjoy as a bird, somebody has a desire to enjoy as a beast so all these different species are created in that way but the desire was not even there because there was no existence no there is existence the first time in the beginning actually when there was nothing when the god would have made uh, krishna would have made species or started somewhere right in the beginning so, so would have given life to somebody and then from there a desire would have started karma would have started and all so, so in the in the beginning how it, in the beginning when the whole creation happened it is also when the living entity is created in the beginning itself okay. so there is a sense of desire from the beginning okay we, we have to go back in shrimad bhagavatam where it explains the process of creation what are the things created in the process so Brahmaji had created all these different things and then this ego and this desire and everything and based on the desire of the living entity to enjoy in a particular way, they are given a particular body. So again, so simply and, just yeah. understand that based on desire, they are given into a particular form and they evolve. The living entity evolves from the life cycle, from one body, from one species to another species. So that means then Krishna only would have put that is desire. Or the Brahma would have then started started with a des desire. So, so how did the desire come? How did it, it all started? So that's why I said we can take this in the next okay. session actually. That's fine. But we'll... uh, I want to start from the beginning actually when it started from the clean slate. Huh. Because when we start any game, we would start from somewhere. Right? We assign this for like when we chess start chess. 
we assign roles and responsibility you will do this you will do that and we start from there so when it all started how did it start okay we will discuss that so but remember yeah. one thing our goal here so yes we will discuss it's good to understand good to uh, try to understand in that way but understand one more thing here also what is the goal here we are not looking into why it happened why we are here our goal here is now how to go back for example yeah. if if there is a fire in the home okay what will we do will we first try to find out how did this fire happen in first place let me first find out why this fire erupted out or right now there is fire in the house and i need to figure out how to get out of this house yeah. right so at that time you are not going to sit there and try to figure out why the fire came out so same way yes from where did it start how did it start what was the first lip first form i got in this material world so all those are okay right now yes we are in this material world we are bound by the shackles three modes of material nature we are suffering this is not our real place we need to get out of this right we need to get out of this and how to get out of this we have got this process and yeah. we want to follow that process and try to get out of this but yes it's okay while we are getting out we can try to figure out we can try to understand how did it start in first place but we don't have to do a hair splitting analysis that's what all i want we, to say yeah. yeah and just a curiosity because in uh, like stories also right. in kathas also you always hear like heavenly planet people keep getting through curse keep getting the lower body lower form Hmm. So does it mean that we always either we started as like Devi Devtas or a human body and then kept going down? Not started like any like somebody started as a dog and then with the good karma became human body and then just curiosity, nothing else. Yes, yes, of course we will we'll discuss those. So that is more so important. You need to invite Bhagavatam at your home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a message. Yes. <laughs> so we need to bring uh, invite Shrimad Bhagwatam at home because that has answered all your questions. And one more thing, I I mentioned the importance of um, Satam Kripa when we come in, how we come in the process of bhakti, but also removing the doubts. When these doubts are there, when some doubts are there. how to remove the doubts what is the best process to become free from doubts it says by service okay when we when we render service it will remove the doubts from the heart and there there are so many stories like that i will maybe tell few stories some other time but the the bottom line point here is when we render service it cleanses our heart and it makes it as a re- recipient for the mercy of krishna and mercy of the devotees and it removes all the doubts from the heart i i one story i can tell right now so there was once a very famous lawyer okay this lawyer um, at the time of this freedom fight in india okay i'm forgetting the name right now uh, so this lawyer actually helped he had left the practice he was uh, now he had joined mahatma gandhi in this uh, movement for for the satyagraha mission satyagraha andolan so he had left practice for almost like 15 20 years and this chora chora incident happened where they burned the police station and uh, 100 100 plus people were uh, arrested and they were going to be given a sentence for death okay hang for a death sentence kind of so they requested this lawyer please you appeal for us you take our case and he said no i have not done this i have uh, left the practice for so many years back i have not done this so some of they convinced him and he said he said okay i will uh, take your case and he fought their case he gave such a wonderful arguments and everything the judge he was a british judge that judge was impressed by the arguments of this lawyer so he, this judge he stood up from his seat and he kind of uh clapped for this lawyer so this indian lawyer he was such a powerful wonderful lawyer now after some time he went 
इनटू द आश्रम ऑफ भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती के प्रभुपाद गुरु एंड ही सेड आई वांट टू मीट भक्ति सिद्धांत आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन आई हैव सम डाउट अबाउट दिस भक्ति एंड द भक्ति सिद्धांत सेड आई एम वेरी बिजी right now i need to attend some other activities you please um, talk to my disciple here okay maybe he can help you so you go meet this brahmachari in the ashram and uh, maybe he can you can discuss with him or you can come later some other time and when i am available when i am free then i will answer your question so now he said okay he went and uh, went to this brahmachari that uh, your guru maharaj is busy he asked me to talk to you um i have this doubt about this process of bhakti can you help me and this brahmachari said prabhu is definitely i will help you clarify this doubt right now i am very busy i need to wash this pots so will you mind do you mind helping me washing these pots let's first finish these pots wash these pots and once we are free then we will sit down and we will discuss so he said okay um so they started washing the pot washed washed for about 1 hour 1 and a half hour they washed all the pots and when all the pots were washed and they sat down took prasad and this brahmachari said now prabhu ji tell me what is your question he said no i don't have any more question all my doubts are cleared now okay so that is the power of service the service makes the heart so clean it cleanses our heart and make us recipient to receive the mercy of krishna mercy of guru and it removes those doubts about bhakti and the process of bhakti so that's why we stress so much on the importance of service that we should all have some dedicated service even half an hour one hour on a weekly basis have some dedicated service okay, as i mentioned right in between we get bhakti because of stam kripa and then we should ask ourselves what am i doing for krishna what am i doing for my guru okay anybody else has any other comment any question my krishna prabhuji i had a question earlier like you were talking about inspirations so uh, does krishna in us as super soul also give us inspiration yes of course yeah, because of inspiration of krishna because of the arrangement of krishna we have come in association of devotees right because of krishna we get a guru because of guru then we strengthen our faith in krishna we develop our relation with krishna so guru krishna prasad paaya bhakti lata beej so guru help us to come in association of uh, krishna help us to come in association of devotees in association of guru and then guru engages us in this process of bhakti systematically okay to further take us to krishna Thank you, Prabhu. Okay. Thank you, Hari Krishna. Anybody else? Raju Prabhu, Prasad Prabhu. Nothing from me, Prabhu. Hari Krishna. Okay, Hari Krishna. Okay, thank you, everyone, for joining, and uh, we'll hope to see you tomorrow for the Kirtan program. Tomorrow is Ekadashi, also, and a nice opportunity to engage in Kirtan. Okay, thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Devotees. Hare Krishna.